Welcome to Lesson 4, Security in Action. In this Security in Action segment, we're going to focus on passive reconnaissance. Now, passive reconnaissance, also known as passive recon, is information gathering using publicly available resources, and the target has no knowledge of the activity. From a penetration test perspective, passive recon is used to either expand or tighten the scope, as well as feed information into the next phase, which is active reconnaissance. So the passive recon tool we're going to take a look at is using Netcraft. I'm at netcraft.com. Just to find out more information about a website and what technologies a website might be running. So over here on the right hand side I've got an option, what's that site running? I want to find out what CNN.com is running. You know, passive recon is a really powerful tool for a pen test, but unfortunately it's also a really powerful tool for a malicious attacker. So let's see what we can learn about CNN.com. Well, what we've learned is that there are 65 sites that are in some way related to CNN.com, meaning that the site contains CNN.com. doesn't mean that they all belong to CNN.com. We're getting information about what are the sites. We're seeing the first 20 here. When was that site first seen? Who owns the net block? And what is the operating system? So right away, we're getting a lot of information. Let's take a look at money.cnn.com. I'm going to ask for a site report. And the site report is going to come back and tell me about cnn.com. Its rank is 705. It was first seen in November of 2003. I get the IP address, who owns the net block, what the name server, the DNS name server is who the hosting company is, in this case Time Warner, what country is it hosted in. I get the entire history, the NetBlock owner, in this case been Turner Broadcasting Systems, the IP address that's been used over time, the operating system, what the web server is, and the last time that that was seen or last time this was updated. I also get a security rating. And then if we start scrolling down, I can find out there are nine known web trackers used and the categories, how they're used. Then come down further and I can learn about site technology, the client-side technology, client-side scripting frameworks, the RSS feed, the tools that are being used to aid web development, the character encoding, what type of HTTP compression, the doc type, HTML5 being used in this case because the doc type was listed as that, and CNS. So quite a bit of information right away about the site. Let's see if it varies at all from the home site, www.cnn.com, first seen in October 1995. Well, if we're going to ask for a site report there, getting the IP address, but also the IPv6, who the net block owner is, the name server, the DNS admin, the net block owner, the IP address, which has not changed. It is a Linux operating system. It's a Varnish web server. Again, very, very good security rating, learning about what web trackers are being used, and then the technologies. The technologies are a little bit different in this one. So if I was an attacker, I might really care about the type of technology because maybe there's a type of technology I'm better at attacking than another, or I know more about the vulnerabilities. If I'm doing this for good reasons, I'm a pen tester, again, this information is going to help me design my test and design my scope. So a lot of really good information happening here in Passive Recon. And remember that CNN has no idea we're doing this, right? We're not doing anything illegal. We're not doing anything wrong. But when you're doing Passive Recon, right, the target doesn't have any idea that you're looking at information, publicly available information about them. And that's security in action.